Hey everyone, oh, I've got one very red ear. Look how red that is. We'll deal with it. Okay, facial, facial draping, blush draping. The makeup industry and not the makeup industry, but the beauty industry is so bored that they come up with new ways of talking about things that have been done for the past 50 or 60 years, if not more. This one is facial draping, which is the newest trend. And if you look back over my videos over the past 10 years, you see I've been doing it a lot. So in this video, we're gonna be going over it because it is one of the most beautiful ways to do makeup. I'm gonna be using my blush palette and this is Bright Poppy. It is this beautiful, beautiful um, blush and highlight combo. And you can mix the two together if you want to have a shimmering blush. Um, but we're just gonna be using the blusher. Now I'm gonna start with clean skin and I'm gonna start with a precision brush. I'm using my number five brush. And what we're gonna do is add this color first. I'm gonna use a foundation to blend it in. So, let's make a little start. The point of draping is that you're draping it over a lot of areas of the face. So, I'm gonna look at my face and decide where I want there to be color. Now, I'm applying this strongly. You do not need to apply it this strongly. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes, but you know that we're gonna blend it in so it looks absolutely marvelous on the bridge of the nose and just down the sides a little bit. Actually, that's quite a lot. Now, when it comes to the forehead, I'm gonna to touch it right here and move it up. So in this kind of line. One of the reasons this blusher, I know it may look shocking now, is so good is that it suits all skin tones and it doesn't have to be applied this heavily it's the one that I would kind of wear every single day, just lightly around the face because it just looks so pretty. I'm also going to add, now if you don't have a beard, tip of the chin and right here at the throat, it just pulls everything together. And I'm going to add a little touch of it, just moving up here into that area that I've just done. So kind of just cutting above the eyebrow. So next we're going to blend this in. I'm going to take my number two brush which is this beautiful fluffy round domed brush and I'm going to be blending this in. Now you can facial drape with facial drape. You can drape with blush, honest to god, with anything. It doesn't have to be a powder blush. It can be a lipstick, a liquid or a cream. I'm using powder on powder so I'm going to use a powder foundation. What I want to do, the first thing I want to do is take down some color on my earlobes because they're just screaming at me in the mirror and I don't want to see it any longer. So we want to make it look like it's a normal color ear and it's not this albatross in the room. So now we're gonna take that foundation and we're gonna work it into the skin so that the foundation glides over this and everything comes through. So I'm just gonna take the foundation and I'm going to start to work it into the skin. And as you can see, that heaviness disappears, but it pokes through and we want it to poke through. And I started heavier on the forehead because that's the area I want there to be the least color. And then whatever's left, I'm moving this down and around because I want the frontal portion of the face to have the most color. And I love the way that this pushes product through the skin because you're laying the foundation on afterwards so that you're still getting that color just popping through and it looks realistic to the skin because it is coming through and not sitting on top. And I think we're gonna do two passes. That's what I think. Don't forget the neck. It's just such an, I love, love, love the way that blusher adds so much vitality to the face. I love it. So I'm gonna go back in again, just a little bit, just above the, uh, uh, just above the eyebrows, a little bit right here. I like to go in a straight line. You don't have to, I like to. And whatever's left on my brush, this brush blends things beautifully. It blends liquids, creams, and powders in absolutely beautifully, and it is so soft. 
And look how nice that looks. And you could add bronzer here now to really complete this look if that's the kind of look you're going for. I'm actually just gonna finish off this technique by just taking a little bit into the hairline and blending it up. That is loverly. Loverly, loverly, loverly. For those of you who are from the UK, I was originally born in Somerset and we say loverly in Somerset. Okay. See, this is why I'm obsessed with makeup, but why I'm obsessed with blusher, because it just finishes the face. You, your skin just looks alive again and beautiful and gorgeous with blusher. It's why I love blusher. And I'll show you for those of you who haven't seen my blusher palettes before, and I've got numerous different shades as well, but you've always got a matte blush and a shimmer highlighter. And the reason being is because you may not always want a shimmery blush, but with a matte and a shimmer here, you can create your own custom color. And if you were to take it just neat and just rub it onto the back of your hand, you would have this really lovely blusher. And then if I put the highlighter next to it, you've got this gorgeous burnt gold. I love the customization of it. But there you go. That, my friends, facial draping, no. Blush draping, honest to God. I have no idea what I'm saying at the best of times, but this is what I'm saying. Hope you liked it, let me know. This is just, do lashes, that's it done. Go out and everyone's gonna be like, oh, you're so pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you next time, bye-bye.